most important thing I learned was a variety of conditions that hypnosis is really very helpful for. Mm -hmm. I thought perhaps we'd learn about using it for sedating patients before surgery. But the uh, I do a lot of sports, and it's a tremendously important tool for people who do sports psychology. Right. That may have been the biggest surprise I had in the whole time was was that hypnosis is very useful to improve performance, not just in surgery, but also in other activities. Mm -hmm. And when you think about the information you learned, was it as thorough as you expected it to be? Oh, no. It was perhaps 10 times more thorough than I ever anticipated. Uh, this was comparable to a lot of the classes I took in graduate school as far as intensity and, mm -hmm. and the teaching. So it was great. And what do you intend to do with this certification now that you're finished? Well, I've been working on my backhand a lot, my tennis backhand. <laughs> uh, and I'm using it for, for clinical purposes to, to help sedate patients that we don't want to use chemical anesthesia for. Mm -hmm. Beth Rawlings. Beth Rawlings. Thank there you. you. Yeah. Okay, great. So, Beth, can you answer a few few short questions for me? Sure. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what you feel you learned in the course. The main thing I learned was how um, hypnotherapy can help everybody in any situation in life, from the youngest to the oldest. Everyone can benefit from it. Dr. Stolting, Doyle Stolting. Congratulations. Thank you. Great. Okay. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about what you feel was covered in the course. We covered not only mechanics of hypnosis, but um, the conditions for which it is useful mm -hmm. and how to apply it, how to diagnose them, um, and a lot of uh, more pertinent information about the applications rather than mechanics. Um, I think we learned a little bit about ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. um, I certainly did. Um, I found uh, hypnosis uh, incredibly relaxing, uh, calming, uh, good for stress. Mm -hmm. uh, recently gave a uh, major talk at uh, one of the national uh, ophthalmology organizations, and uh, I did it in a very different way from which I usually do it. Um, I walked out on the stage, felt comfortable, uh, animated, and... Um, Many of my friends asked me what was different because it was clearly a different presentation than I ever did before. I told them that I asked my wife to hypnotize me before the presentation, which she did. Yeah. As soon as I got up in the morning and right before I gave it. And I attribute that to, um, I attribute the difference in the hypnosis. What do you intend to do with it? I intended to, uh, I intend to apply it in my practice. Um, as an ophthalmologist, we do a lot of surgery under sedation. The mm -hmm. uh, procedures are relatively uh, quick, and uh, we've been using hypnosis for cataract surgery and other anterior segment procedures. It's a fantastic substitute for chemical sedation. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the patients that I've treated that had uh, chemical sedation in their first eye and hypnosis for their second preferred the hypnosis eye. Every patient that had hypnosis for their first eye asked for it for the second. Okay, Dina is still saying. <laughs> okay, so Dina, tell us a little bit about what you studied in the course. Uh, we learned that hypnotherapy can help people from stopping smoking and weight loss mm -hmm. to kids with ADHD, people with stress relief. It can enhance sports performance. Mm -hmm. You know, before I came here and took the course, I knew that it could help people with some of those things, but mm -hmm. I had no idea that the breadth of people that you can help with it. Great. Okay, good. And um, what do you feel that you got from the course that you didn't expect to get other than that? Oh, me? A better a way to manage the stress in my life. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a different person. I feel much more calm and relaxed, and um, it's also helping me improve my sales performance. Jamie Venable. Calm down. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Great job. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about what you enjoyed about the course. Well, I enjoyed the education, obviously, but mm -hmm. being able to place what I have learned into my personal life and the changes that I have seen in my own attitude has helped me to be able to, to move forward with what I've learned. Great. 
Okay. And is there anything else that you feel you got out of this course? Maybe oh, something wow. you didn't expect? Well, you know, traveling through the subconscious mind, mm -hmm. you know, through hypnosis has been the most powerful experience of my life and learning the background and how far back this goes has been a, an mm -hmm. amazing experience for me and something that I will carry through the rest of my life. Great. Okay, <laughs> Kathy Jennings. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your certificate. Thank you. And so just a couple questions for you now that you've graduated. What did you enjoy the most about this course? Well, the course is a life-changing experience. I've enjoyed meeting all these wonderful people and sharing the bond of learning all this wonderful, wonderful information that has just expanded my mind. Okay, great. So what do, you, what do you feel that you got out of the course? Maybe something you didn't expect or something that really helped you a lot? I didn't expect it to be um, so easily assimilated. It was just because of you and Dr. Crow being such marvelous teachers. I feel like my mind has expanded. I mean, I physically feel like my mind is bigger than it was. Great. Even all the cells in my brain feel full of wonderful, wonderful, wonderful knowledge. Well, you did a great job. So what, what are you planning on doing with your certification? Are you going to start a business? Yes, I have leased a small office, and I plan to start seeing clients um, soon. And just the thought of being able to help other people become happy and solve problems is just absolutely wonderful. Great. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Is Tammy Neal. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So here's your certifications. Thank you. And go ahead and just tell us a little bit about what you enjoyed about the course. I really enjoyed this course. It had a lot of knowledge in it, knowledge that I did not expect to be learning so easily. Um, it was absolutely wonderful, and I also loved it because we hypnotized each other almost every time, mm. and I left here so relaxed. Right. Yeah, that's the, the good part, right? Exactly. So um, anything that you got out of the course that you weren't expecting? Yes. Um, I learned so much about the mind and about the brain here more than I ever did in nursing school, and mm. I did not expect that at all. Okay. And what are you going to do with this knowledge? Are you going to start a practice or...? I've already leased an office and seen a couple of people, and I'm also going to use it uh, in my work to hypnotize people to have surgeries without anesthesia. Great. Wow. It's exciting. Yep. Lisa Thompson, congratulations. Thank you. And here's your certificates. So just tell us a little bit now about what you enjoyed about the course. Every, every aspect of the course I truly enjoyed. There was the perfect balance between the book learning, the lectures, the practical experience, and just the camaraderie and the, the notion that we all felt like we were there here to, to improve our lives and to do something really mm -hmm. great and wonderful. And what do you feel like you got out of the course? Maybe something you didn't expect? I did not expect Bob and Inga to share as much of their lives and their experience as they did. They were completely open, virtually transparent, and that, in terms of moving forward, was invaluable. Okay, great. And what are you going to do? Are you going to start a practice? Or? Yes, we are. We already have an office in our home. Well, our next candidate and our graduate is Dr. Lynn Hightower. Come over here, Lynn. Hello. What did you enjoy the most about this course? What I enjoyed the most about the course was getting the scientific background and proof of how hypnosis works. I was astounded to find out that it worked for surgeries, it worked for post-traumatic stress, weight loss, maintenance, uh, and a, a large number of other issues that people face in their life and want to change and it was wonderful to have the scientific proof back to the 1800s that it has been working and is still working and is being used by doctors and it's being used by uh, certified hypnotherapists for different issues. What did you get out of the course that maybe you weren't expecting to find? Uh, I got a lot of academic resources that I can turn to. 
I came to truly understand how hypnosis works and that I now feel comfortable and have seen the fact that I can hypnotize people and it works. It actually makes permanent life changes. I know it has in mine. What are you going to do with your newfound knowledge? I plan to use it. I'm in the process of deciding whether the practice will be in my home or I will look for an office. Uh, mm -hmm. It correlates with what I've been doing all my life, which is teaching and working with people. And this is another step in teaching, working, and, and hopefully helping people. Congratulations, dear. <laughs> now we'd like to introduce to you Joanna Schmink. Joanna, come on up here. What did you enjoy about the course? I think... It really helped me expand my own abilities to think and actually to learn, quite honestly. Um, coming in, it had been a while since I had taken any kind of formal class or training. We noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think in just allowing myself to be able to listen and to learn again was actually very beneficial. But the amount of knowledge and uh, material that we've covered in the last how many weeks has been just overwhelming as well, but very beneficial. Ah, oh, shucks. Uh, <laughs> what did you get out of the class, the course, maybe you weren't expecting? It actually has helped me learn to think a little better, but also be more intuitive and go back to my um, uh, trusting of my intuitive abilities. Mm. Um, because of working in the subconscious, that also has shown me that even from uh, for future taking uh, clients, um, that everyone will be different, and no two people are the same. Exactly. What do you intend to do with this newfound knowledge? I am currently working on business cards and trying to search for an office space and hopefully starting a practice. And, and what? With starting a practice. Not hopefully. Will be starting will a be practice starting a practice within okay. the next year. All right. And you think it will take you roughly a year to get your business cards or what? No, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will not. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Our next graduate is Susanna Schmink. Come on up here, dear. Please. Susanna always has trouble smiling, so uh, <laughs> we're not going to ask her to turn down. Look at, look at the number four there. And what did you enjoy about the course? Oh my gosh, what did I not enjoy about this course? It's been wonderful. It's been so much information that has helped me in my life. And the people, the people have been fabulous. I've never felt more mentored and cared about. They've been so supportive and so helpful with learning all of the material. It's just been incredible. True. Okay. <laughs> what did you get out of the course you weren't expecting? A lot of knowledge. Um, I'm able to stand up in front of people and talk now, which I had problems with before. But, oh, so much knowledge and about hypnotherapy, and I've really enjoyed the actual hands-on practice and learning the information and the way everything works together. And Inga and Bob do such a wonderful job. Oh, shucks. They do a great job of teaching it, so it makes it easy and you can assimilate it, but it's a lot of information. What do you intend to do with this newfound knowledge? I'm going to practice. Fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> now we want to bring up Ken Thompson. Come up here, Ken. What did you enjoy about the course? I would say everything. I had no idea when I first started this course of what it was involved with as far as the depth of it. And to come into a learning environment where everyone in that class wants to learn, is dedicated to learning, and with such great teachers that the information was never boring and it just continued to flow is just exhilarating. So you would say it added to your already superb knowledge of neuroplasticity? To say that I had any knowledge of neuroplasticity <laughs> after this class was to say I was just a beginner. What did you get out of the course you weren't expecting? Uh, besides the incredible amount of knowledge that I had no idea even existed in the world of hypnosis, uh, was also an incredible burning desire to continue learning and advancing and understanding more and more about how it works in our lives because it's just such an exciting field. Fantastic. What do you expect to do with this newfound knowledge? Well, my wife and I are both starting the practice, and uh, I am looking forward to not retiring but enjoying my life after a 9-to-5 job 
helping people and building a very successful business. Fantastic. Fantastic. Great job. Thank, Thank you, Ken. You. Thank you. Okay. Back to you in the studio, Marie. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's tall. <laughs> but over here, I think it's okay. Maybe just a smidge. It's just right at the very top of her hair. Okay, I don't... There's a just take it out uh, slightly. Take off your shoes. There, that'll do it. That might be easier than that, her yeah. adjusting the two. Oh, I should put them on the other side so when I walk Holy around. cow, Santa, <laughs> when is the last <laughs> That's this good. Foot odor like hereditary or what? <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> what do we what do, I do wrong? wrong? <laughs> Hit it. Oh, the, the thing's on? The camera? The things are on. And which one am I supposed to be looking at? Always look towards the middle. Okay. Hi, this is Inga Chamberlain. We're here to witness the. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> okay.